So this is my take on the new Unity runtime fee. Apparently Unity is going to charge a certain amount if you get more than 200,000 installs. And the problem is most people and indie devs are not very happy about this as they believe that uh, install bombing, like you've got review bombing, install bombing can be a problem. So there is massive backlash and uh, Unity almost all channels, including uh, some big channels, which are not even related to video game development are speaking about this. And uh, my take on this is, is first of all, if you're really worried about uh, paying any cooperation, anything, then you should probably move to free software. Now I said free software specifically, I didn't say open source software as there's a difference between free software and open source software and uh, unreal engine is not free software it is not even open source it's not under an open source license other than that i've i saw this on um on some facebook groups that they were actually telling some indie developers who have free games not to use unity as they will be charged for they will be charged per install or per run because that particular uh, game developer had a WebGL game on itch. Most people do not uh, think they overlook this fact that you have to also make $200,000 plus in revenue for Unity to start charging you. And that is basically the, the thing that I'd like to speak about if your game is free and you're not earning earning through that, then you will never really have to pay the runtime fee. The main concern that people are actually overlooking is that we do not know how they will track the installs. Since Unity is not open source, we do not really know what will basically, how they will how they will actually see or view as and install as like if i have your video game i uninstall it and reinstall it how will unity know exactly whether this is a legitimate install or not like i'm just installing the game again and we do not know what algorithm or code or what they're using that is the main concern that it's not really open and people are overlooking the fact it's not about the fee i don't think the fee is the problem the fa the problem is that we don't really know the how effective this is which i'm reading over here do fraudulent installs or install bombing count towards unity runtime fee so the problem is i don't really know about this like this is this is something that i do not know about so no in fact nobody knows how how they will actually like differentiate a legit install versus a install that is not legitimate we don't know that so that is the main concern and people are overlooking this. It's not about the fee. I mean, they as a company can charge the developers if they are, if they have reached a certain, a certain amount of success. I mean, if they're successful and if you have got 200,000 installs and you also have $200,000 plus in revenue, you are successful. It, I mean, of course, there's profit margins, there are many other things, but it doesn't really necessarily mean that you're making money. So that is another thing. But then you have to actually, that's part of business, that you have to make sure that you make a profit. So if Unity can actually reveal how they're basically... What code is in the runtime that will determine whether or not this, uh, whether or not the install is legitimate or not? It will clear. It would clear almost everything. That's what I believe. It's only about how they are tracking these installs. 
that is basically the problem. If you wish to support me and wish to watch more of my content, consider subscribing, consider liking. And if you wish to support me, uh, consider buying my Udemy course. I'll teach you how to become a freelance game developer using Unity. <laughs> and uh, if you wish to support me, you can also order a game from me on, on Fiverr.com. And uh, that's how you can support me if you wish. Thank you.